Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to import contacts into Zuho CRM in 2023. Zuho CRM is a powerful customer relationship management system that helps you manage and organize your contacts uh, effectively. Importing contacts into Zuho CRM allows you to centralize, centralize your contacts information and streamline your sales and marketing efforts. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps of importing contacts into Zuho CRM. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. So here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can go and open whatever browser you will have to use or your preferred browser. Then, of course, you'll have to go to the CR section, type Zuhu CRM and hit the enter button. Go to this first link. And of course, you'll have to go and log in into your account and click on sign in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, you can always go and click at sign up or create an account and you'll be able to create your account. Of course, you'll be able to create your account or even log in into your account with those options, which will prevent you from doing all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. As you can see, if you click on sign up, you'll be able even to sign up with your LinkedIn or Google. So let's just go with logging in into my Google account or signing up with my Google account. And of course, once I do so, as you can see, you'll have to agree to the terms of service and privacy policies. Make sure to go and read them both so you will not have any problem with them in the future as an example, and you will be aware of everything. Because a lot of people accept without reading. And so make sure just to read them before you agree and make sure to go and click on create account. And, but if you have like an existing account, you can always go here and click on link account and you'll be able to link your account from here. So at the moment, let's just go back, back home, and let's just log in into my account from the beginning with this account. And of course, I agree and accept and create account. So first, of course, the first step is to prepare your contact data for imports. Make sure your contact data is organized in a compatible format such as CSV or comma separated values or XLS or which is Microsoft Excel and ensure that your contact data includes essential information like name, emails, addresses, phone numbers and any other relevant details you want to import into Zuho CRM. Then. Once you're logged in into your Zuho CRM account, make sure to navigate into the contacts model and then you'll find an option called import. Click on it, which will take you to the Zuho import tool. So for me, I am here at the moment. And of course, uh, I can simply go to groups here and we'll be able to create new group here. I'll find like I'll have a lot of options here. So here you'll have to go and click at those points at the top uh, left corner. Once you click on them, as you can see here, you will have to go. Let's just go as an example here for, I don't know, I'm going for sheets. So I, I, I would like to get a place, but I don't know how to get it from here or here is we, we can go work drive, I guess this one. Yeah. So once we are here, click on this nine dots at the top right corner now. And here we will have to go and type can and as you can see you'll find here contact manager and this will take you to Bidgin, uh, which made by Zuhu CRM so simply click on try for free and log in with the same account that you have on your Zuhu accounts so from there we'll be able to import our contacts it's going to be pretty simple so let's just wait a bit here until they load the page for us so here we are we can simply go and enter those credentials as example. So as uh, I'm just going to put here random things. And I'm just going to click as explore. And here we can simply now go into contacts at this left panel. Once you do into this contacts, as you can see, you'll find this option of contacts. So import contacts, you can import your existing contacts from a file or migrate your data from another CRM. So of course, you'll be able to do a lot of stuff for me. I'm just going to click on skip. Click on contacts here, of course, if you want to add a contacts or you click on this drop down menu, then click on import contacts. From here, as we said, you'll be able to upload your file formats as C uh, CSV or XLS, as we said before. So uh, here, uh, of course, which file, uh, which is the file you've prepared 
uh, with your contact data you can choose the appropriate file format once you click on up, uh, upload as you can see the custom files will be xls xls x vcv or csv not just those two as i said i don't know what those two means but those uh, the first one is excel file and the second one it's going to be comma separated values so depending on your file you'll normally find it here click on it and it will be uploaded once you do so of course you'll have to select the uh, or choose an action then of course you'll have to map the, the, your data and, and do some additional options let me just explain those to you real quick so the map field of course is just going to be in the step you'll map fields uh, in your contact data file and the corresponding fields in zoo crm zoo crm will attempt to automatically map the field based on columns headers and common fields names uh, review the field mapping and make any necessary adjustments and ensure that the essential contact information is correctly mapped including names email address phones uh, phone numbers and any other relevant details that you added or that you have in the file and once you're satisfied with the field mapping click on next button and of course then you will have to validate the import data then uh, review the import uh, summary for everything and then of course you'll be able to monitor your uh, import progress uh, that's what i mean of course by additional options so zoho crm will uh, now import your contact data and you can monitor your progress of the imports of the screen depending on the size of your contacts list uh, the import process may take some time so once the import is complete you will receive a notification and after the import is finished take some time to verify that the contacts have uh, been successfully imported into your zoo crm and check that all the contact details are accurate and that's no important information was missed because always there is an option uh, to uh, to of course even the pc can make a mistake or zoo crm or this bidding and of course you can e even make any necessary adjustments or updates uh, as needed as an example if there is a problem you can always go and add or change something depending on whatever you like because no need to import the data from the beginning again if you have just a problem with just a few things you can go and edit them directly from here so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you have successfully imported your contacts into zoo crm uh, and of course in 2023 so your contacts are now centralized and organized with zoo crm enabling you to effectively manage and leverage your customer relationships of course remember uh, to regularly update and maintain your contact data in zoo crm to ensure its accuracy and relevance so thank you for watching and best of luck with your contact management efforts in zoo crm and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorial like this one and I will see you, of course, in the next video.